Hi, it's Richard again at Production Room. We are just going to put some audio, uh, very simple guitar parts, over our VST MIDI parts. So the first thing I need to do is go to Devices, VST Connections, and what I've done is I've added an extra bus because on my sound card, the Sapphire 56, the third input, input three, is the one with the high impedance guitar DI on it. On most two ins and two outs sound cards, they're usually both um, high impedance, but on mine, the third one is the high impedance one. So if I add an audio track now, I'm gonna add a mono one because the guitar, a DI guitar is just a mono thing. So add track, and then I need to make sure that here, because I've named it guitar input, so I know that's number three, uh, that will be my guitar. So if I hit the monitor switch on the audio channel, I should now be able to hear in real time my guitar DI. There it is. Okay, so that's just dry and DI at the moment. So if I want to hear an effect on that in real time, then I can go to my insert here. And you've got eight to play with. So I'll go to the first one and I will plug in uh, guitar rig. Now, Guitar Rig is a huge uh, effects plugin you get with Complete. Uh, it's not just guitar effects, it's a massive amount of other stuff as well. But um, for the purposes of what we're doing now, um, Guitar Effects, of course, will do just fine. So if I um, uh, search under Styles, let's have a look. Funk and Soul, I'll probably do. And Phased Rhythm, that should be suitable. Yeah, nice little phaser. Let's turn the rate down a little bit. The depth. Yeah, that'll do. So now when I hit record, just make sure you're not clipping, which I'm not. So it should record at a decent level without uh, distortion. Uh, apologies for my dreadful guitar playing. Here we go. So that is my very basic, very cheesy uh, rhythm guitar down. If I take the monitor button off, then we should be able to hear what that sounds like. Here we go. Okay, that's it down, bit out of time, but never mind. We can uh, quantize the audio too. We'll come to that in a different video, I think. But if I go quickly to my mix console there. Oh, let's try that again. Mix console. Then we can see all our channels there. So if I want to do a very quick mix, let's just loop it around and get a decent mix there. <laughs> Drums, bass, piano can come down a bit. That's better. Now the very last thing we're going to do is just um, show you how to set up a, an effects send. Because so far we've used an insert effect, which is great for things, things like you know, guitar effects and dynamic effects. But if we want to put um, a reverb on something, for example, uh, we might want to open a, a nice reverb and use varying amounts on different tracks. So if we right click again here and add FX channel. Uh, stereo effect, we want a stereo reverb. So let's go down to reverbs in here. This is a built-in Cubase reverb called Reverence, which is excellent, by the way. Uh, and add track. And it looks a bit like that. And if we browse the um, presets here, and we'll find something. Uh, let's have a look. Large Viennese Hall. That'll do. So if we click this little um, button here. That will give us a burst of white noise, so we can hear what it sounds like. Perhaps a bit big, but we'll go with it anyway, that's fine. Now if we want to add 
some reverb to one of the channels we've done. Uh, go to back to the mix console. Now, if we go to say our guitar channel, which we haven't named actually, so let's name that guitar. Oh, double click on there. Guitar A1. Get in the habit of naming your tracks. Okay, so on the send, we should be able to have a look at the sends there. Yep. Uh, reverence will now appear in there, which we've just opened. And we turn it on there. I can give it varying amounts. So if we play that back. <laughs> Clearly a massive amount there. Let's just solo that off. That's better. And we could do the same with all the other channels. But obviously, um, you don't want it to, to have a massive, great hall reverb necessarily on your entire drum kit. But you get the idea. So um, that's MIDI recording, setting up a MIDI keyboard and uh, setting up your audio devices, recording some basic audio and doing some very, very basic uh, cutting and pasting.